We're now being joined by security expert Captain Umar Aliyu to take a look at the security implications of the ongoing lockdown. Thank you for your time on the news. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, there are there have been reports of people moving from one state uh, to the other despite the lockdown and presence of security men. Um, what do you think is responsible for this? Uh, basically, the lockdown itself was going to come with its fallout as the lockdown progressed. And uh, the first thing that is responsible for what you can call this movement is one, hunger. People are not necessarily running away from the virus. They are running away from the implication of our lockdown. Don't forget there are people in this country who are so far below the poverty line, they live an itinerant life. Itinerant life here meaning they are homeless. So if you decided to lock the town they are in down, they don't have homes to stay in. So there is no home to lock them down in. They will seek to move to towns where there is no lockdown and they do not require a home to stay in. Okay, the state, uh, the security situation along the state boundaries has been of great challenge. What's your observation and how can this uh, be addressed? Basically, the lockdown itself as imposed by the federal government was a knee-jerk measure. It's something we jumped into overnight. There was no countdown to the lockdown. If we had had a countdown, maybe a week's notice, people would have made ready and prepared. Having said that, have the situation where you have a stop on interstate movement. Interstate movement cannot stop the spread of the virus. What we need to do in our own position as a largely unorganized country is to micromanage the lockdown. Micromanaging the lockdown is simply effecting a lockdown manually. We are actually copying and pasting this lockdown scenario. Those we are copying it from have better information and management systems than we do. We don't have this thing, but we are probably locking down because we want to qualify to receive funds from this Western Hemisphere countries. Fine. If the funds is the fashion for the lockdown, haven't received the funds, we need to manually manage our own lockdown. All right. If you are telling... Yeah, I, I was just going to, because of time, I was just going to uh, move ahead and ask you about maintaining security during this period it has been alleged to be cumbersome for the security agencies, so they seem not to be paying attention to other um, internal security. Do you agree with this assessment? Absolutely. Our security men will be overwhelmed. It will take a very, very ambitious public office holder not to accept the fact. What is the ratio of policemen to citizens? What is the ratio of soldiers to citizens? We are 200 million of us. I don't think the entire security agencies will add up to 3 million. So how do you want them to do it? And don't forget, they are not even having the kind of equipment that could en enable them to police their environs virtually. What, what role should our Motek Uko and other community policing group play um, during this period? Our Motek Uko can help micromanage the lockdown. Listen. 
if you have to manage a lockdown manually, micromanage it, your first asset is native ability. And that new security group, if it's a serious one, can assist in doing that. Thank you very much, uh, Captain, uh, for sharing your thoughts with us. You're welcome.